What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to talk about snow and Teslas because Chicago had its first hard snowfall, as you can tell, and Teslas aren't the best in the snow. Well, that was before the new update came out. So if you have a Model 3 or Model Y performance, you're gonna have this new mode called Track Mode. You can see it over there. Now I'm gonna talk about settings you could use in Track Mode to make your car actually a nice drivable car in the snow. Because you would think a Tesla's all-wheel drive, right? It's got a lot of weight, low center of gravity. It should be good in the snow, but realistically, Teslas suck in the snow when they did before the setting. And the reason for that mainly is the regenerative braking. And what's nice now, obviously, you can see we have control of the regenerative braking along with trash control and all that fun stuff. So let me get right into it, all right? What you want to do is you want to find track mode. So your car got, has to be in park. So let me turn my car on. It's in park. I'm going to hit the little car icon. We're going to go to pedals and steering. <clears throat> and then right here is track mode. We're going to go to customize. It's going to open up this menu. Usually you have race and drift preset. You just go to add new setting. You name it snow, as you can tell I already did. And then you get to this option right over here where you can control your car. These are the settings that I like the best for myself. Actually, when I drive, I like 50-50. I'm, you know, I drive race cars all the time, so I have really good throttle manipulation, and I know how to drive a Tesla in the snow, but for your average person, I think like a 70-30, a 75-25, you want a more front wheel bias, because when you're taking a turn and you give it gas, you don't want your car to get into a drift, right? So that's why I like having the more of the front wheel bias in snow mode, so mess around with it, but I would say 65-35 is a good starting point. Your stability assist, what the stability assist is, uh, it's not trash control. So tracks control, when I have it in drive and I put it in track mode. So let me go ahead and put it in track mode. Well, I guess I gotta be in park. I put it in track mode, hit track mode. Then I put it in drive. You're gonna see this, right? It says something off, right? It's a picture of a car going kind of swirly and this is off. Trash control versus stability control. Trash control, the reason you want traction control off is when you're in deep snow, you need your wheels to have that wheel speed so you don't get stuck. When you're trying to go and your car thinks your car is slipping in the rain, it's gonna actually apply the brakes and cause the wheels to slow down so you don't lose traction, right? But in the snow, you don't really want that. You want your wheels to spin a little bit more freely so you can get through deep snow, you cut right through it. Uh, I don't know what this is for. Uh oh, uh, oh, owner's manual. Why is the owner's manual up? Anyways, sorry. Let me go back to the setting. Customize. All right. So that's what trash can is. Stability control. What that does is say you do get into a swirly situation, right? Your car is gonna automatically apply the brakes to the wheels. Uh, whatever wheel it needs to do so your car doesn't spin out so if I'm driving I give it a little gas my car goes like this the right side starts spinning out It's gonna apply the brakes to the back right wheel to slow that wheel down and straighten it out So it's really cool and that's why I had that at plus 10 when I'm driving in the snow I want to be able to cut through the snow if my car gets swirly the stability assist is gonna go ahead and make it Keep it straight and that works really well. I've taken them taken some fast turns on the road with my Tesla and it got swirly and the car corrects itself right away. So mess with that setting. If you want more control of the car, obviously you can go back down up to negative 10, which is gonna pretty much make your car drift all over the place. You keep it at zero, which is this factory settings. I like the plus 10, all right? The last but not least, the regenerative braking, which is the most important part of this whole Tesla driving the snow crap that makes it suck. The reason the Tesla suck usually is because when you let go of the brake, I mean, when you let go of the gas, the car automatically gets into a brake. And that's, obviously if you're on ice or you're in deep snow, you're trying to come to a stop and the car just applies the brakes really hard, it might lock up the wheels and you might get into a slide. And if you don't get into a slide, it's gonna start applying the ABS. It's gonna start getting all funky and doing things you don't want it to do in the snow, okay? When you have control of the brakes, your car is gonna be much more pleasant to drive in the snow. I personally like 20% because when I'm driving down the road and I let go of the gas, it still kind of slows down a little bit like you would have in a gasoline engine because obviously the gasoline engine has its own type of uh, resistance. Uh, so 20% I think is perfect when you let go of the gas, the car is still rolling, it's just slowing down very ever so slightly, not enough to where it's going to affect locking up the wheels or whatever it may be and you could use your brake like you would in a normal gasoline car. I just love it.
uh, I think 20% is the best. 0%, what that's gonna do uh, is gonna make your car act like neutral. So when you let go of the gas, your car is gonna roll free like you're neutral. I think it's a little better for a fuel economy, in my opinion, or not fuel economy, electro economy. But again, you're not gonna, I don't know. I don't mind it, but I personally like 20% the best. I think between 15 and 25 is a sweet spot. Mess with it. But you don't want it to be at 100. If you're gonna have it at 100, it's gonna act like a, your Tesla normally does when you're driving around normally. It's gonna have full regenerative braking. The whole point of this, in my opinion, is to get rid of that regenerative braking and you're taking care of all the braking when it comes to deep snow driving. Okay, so I know I'm talking a lot. Uh, to sum it up, these are my favorite settings. Uh, mess with it to your liking. Let me know if you have better settings. Uh, share them down in the comments below. I would love to try them out. When I'm driving, usually I'll keep it 50 50. I like drifting around, so I'm not gonna lie. I usually keep this at zero or negative 10. Uh, I'll keep that at 20 degree at uh, 20%. And this is nice because when I'm driving, I have full control of the snow. I could drift around like a wood in a normal all wheel drive sports car. But if my wife is driving, she's not. Nothing against a woman driver, obviously. It's just my wife is not a car person and she just gets into the car. She wants to drive how it's supposed to drive. I would probably keep this at a 65-35 or a 75-25. More front wheel drive bias. Keep the stability all the way up. Keep the regenerative braking at 20% and she's good to go. And these are just cool facts that you have uh, in track mode. If you're actually gonna be racing the car on the track, it's nice to keep, you can see how hot your brakes get, your motors get. Uh, your tires get tells you psi in all four corners it shows you your g-force all that fun stuff so yeah that pretty much sums up my video sorry it went a little longer but i wanted to get into great details i hope these settings help you out and i hope snow more works out for you tesla people let me know how your tesla drives in the snow uh it's a lot more pleasant for me uh when it when it snows really hard in chicago my wife ends up taking my sequoia uh because obviously it's better in the snow and then i'll take the tesla and again i enjoy driving in the snow now i have, i freaking love it it's so fun to drive with this uh track mode and me having control of the car so shout out to tesla team shout out to ellen not ellen sorry elon elon musk and uh hope you all see y'all in the next video make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you like it check out my tiktok check out my instagram i always post fun stuff over there and i'll see y'all in the next video till next time peace also, I'm going to post some videos of me drifting this thing in the snow, so watch out for that too.